Kumusta? Welcome back sa channel ko. Sa video na to, i-share ko sa inyo yung 13 movies for aspiring lawyers and law students. Para po sa mga bago dito, ako nga pala si Attorney Errol. I make videos about food, self-development, and lifestyle design. Kung gusto mo yon, subscribe ka na. Click mo na rin yung bell icon para ma-notify ka pag magpo-post ako. So, para sa akin, ano ba yung recommended movies ko for aspiring lawyers and law students? Dati, nasa Netflix yung iba dito. Ngayon kasi ang alam ko, tinanggal na yung iba. Check nyo na lang din. Para ma sure, mas may kita nyo yung movies na to sa Amazon Prime. Ako naman kasi, meron kaming kopya dito ng ibang movies, kaya napanood ko. Yung mga wala kaming kopya, pinanood ko sa Amazon Prime. Para po sa mga interesado, maglalagay ako ng affiliate link sa description box para makita nyo yung sinasabi ko. Huwag pa erasiya, tara! Number 1, siyempre, Bar Boys. Kwento to ng apat na magkakaibigan tungkol sa journey nila sa law school. Nagsimula to sa law school entrance exam. May kita mo dito yung iba-ibang issue ng bawat taong pumapasok sa law school. May kita mo rin yung generic stereotype ng mga law students. O kunwari sa apat na bida. Una, si Eric. Mahirap siya pero striving to go into law school. Mahina na yung memory niya, tapos hindi pa magaling mag-English. Tapos yung pangalawa, si Toran. Mayabang, frat boy. Tapos yung memory parang computer. Tapos pangatlo, si Chris. Matalino. Harvard would-be student. Magaling din mag-English. Siyempre, yung huli, pang-apat, si Josh. Hindi siya pumasa. <laughs> Nakakatawa tong panoorin kasi napaka-relatable niya lalo sa mga law students. Alam na alam nyo yan. May kita nyo kung paano magtanong yung mga professors. Yes, very detailed ang iba. Yung iba sa bawat kaso, hinihimay-himay talaga nila. Kahit nga yung mga ugali ng professors, pinapakita doon. I hope you're ready. Let's see who's gonna be the lucky one. Abigail Antonio. In the case of Molina versus Rafferty of 1918, what was the ruling? At anong kinalaman nito sa tax discussion natin? Tax? Hmm? Yeah. Case? Yes, the one about the fish being an agricultural product. Agricultural products. Yes, what's the ruling? Ruling, sir, um, agricultural product. Tax case. Ano nga yung ruling? Ang kulit. Tax case, sir. Iha. Yeah. Sayang ka, ano? Ganda lang ang puhunan. Invest ka naman minsan sa mga ibang assets, katulad ng utak. Ito yung movie para sa mga aspiring law students para malaman kung ano ba yung sistema sa law school dito sa Pilipinas. Ito rin yung movie para sa mga lawyers na gusto makaalala kung paano nga ulit yung sa law school. Iba nga dito, exaggerated, pero okay pa rin namang panoorin at marami ka pa rin matututunan. Turan, legal knowledge is cumulative. It doesn't matter where you start. It only matters how you end. O number two, Lincoln Lawyer. Hey boss, pull over up here. Counselor? Eddie, we had a deal. Either pay me or go with a public defender. Another five grand? Ten. Oh. Ain't you gonna count it? I just did. Story to ng isang defense counsel, tapos yung ex-wife niya, eh, fiscal. O kung sa US, district attorney. Because of the seriousness of the offense, the financial resources of the accused, the state requests no bail. Your Honor, there's no way the state can claim that my client is a flight risk. He's not. Crime thriller to. May kita mo yung tricks ng iba't ibang lawyers. Gusto ko to kasi medyo may gray area siya. Isipin mo meron kang client. Nagmamakaawa siya, sabi niya innocent daw siya. Pati yung evidence, sinasabi, innocent nga siya. Pero ang totoo, ginawa niya pala talaga. So, paano na ngayon? Para pang merong ethical and moral dilemma na nangyayari. Panoorin niyo to guys, ang ganda ng ginawa niya sa dulo. Hindi ko alam kung kasing accurate to ng libro, pero yung movie itself, for me, okay naman. You didn't strike Miss Campo with your left fist. No. Threaten to kill no, her. No, I am not that guy. I don't know, Mick. This kid feels wrong to me. Are you sure there's not anything that you're not telling me? Nothing. But next, number three, a few good men. Colonel Jessup, did you order the code red? You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to You them. want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! 
punong-puno ng suspense at emotional scenes sa loob ng courtroom. Gusto ko to kasi it's a story about going out of your comfort zone. Hindi niya talaga forte ang trial. Magaling lang siya makipag-negotiate ng deal with the district attorney o fiscal sa atin. Ito yung tinatawag na plea bargain. Doon siya magaling. Command, Lieutenant Cap is generally considered the best litigator in our office. He successfully plea bargained 44 cases in nine months. One more, I get a set of steak knives. Have you ever been in a courtroom? I once had my driver's license suspended. I... Danny. Commander, from what I understand, if this thing goes to court, they won't need a lawyer. They'll need a priest. No, they'll need a lawyer. Tapos, ito yung first trial niya. Murder pa. Kaya nga exciting panoorin. Kasi kung ikaw, lawyer ka, maaalala mo yung first time mo. Kumusta ba ang first time mo? Ang galing din kasi ng acting ni Tom Cruise dito at saka ni Jack Nicholson. Tapos, ang ganda pa nung nangyari sa dulo, panoorin nyo. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide it. I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Number four, Devil's Advocate. Ang dami ditong brilliant lines na pag pinanood mo ng first time, akala mo wala lang, akala mo irrelevant. Pero pagdating sa dulo, ma-realize mo napaka-significant pala nila. Bakit ko to gusto? Kasi yung moral lesson, grabe yung nagagawa ng ambition. Laging may kapalit. Tsaka yung vanity and greed, ako, oh, mag-ingat kayo dyan. Sabi nga sa movie, vanity is the devil's favorite sin. Medyo hindi siya realistic kasi supernatural ang dating. Pero iba pa rin yung moral lesson niya. Oh. Vanity is definitely my favorite sin. On number five, my cousin Vinny. We got an attorney in the family. Great, who? My cousin Vinny. Ito nakakatawa. Sobrang bentang legal comedy movie for me. Nakakatawa promise. Kwento to ng isang lawyer na kakapasa lang ng bar. Kaso, hindi niya gamay yung legal procedures. Yung remedial law. Yeah, how do your clients plead? Uh, my clients are caught completely by surprise. They thought they were getting arrested for uh, shoplifting a can of tuna. What are you telling me? That they plead not guilty? No, I I'm just trying to explain. I don't want to hear explanations. The state of Alabama has its procedure. And that procedure at this point in time is to have an arraignment. Are we clear on this? Uh, yes. But uh, there seems to be a great deal of confusion here. Mr. Gambini. Uh, see, Mike... Ayoko nang spoil. Nakakatawa talaga to. Panoorin nyo yung scene doon sa first time niyang mag-jail visit doon sa pinsan niya. Tapos ang galing din ng cross-examination niya. Underdog na underdog ang dating. Kahit ngayon judge, naniwala eh. <laughs> Galing! Basta isa to sa mga movie na para sa akin, okay yung setting, yung story, tsaka yung performances na pag nagbiblend lahat, okay na okay yung movie, okay yung output. Panoorin nyo. Have, have you had any murder cases before? No, this would be my first. What kind, what kind, what kind of law do you practice? Well, up till now, uh, personal injury. You're a trial attorney, right? I mean, personal injury trials. Well, actually, this would be my first foray into the trial process. How long have you been practicing? Almost six weeks. Number six, the firm. The secrets of my client. I will, I will maintain, maintain the confidence and preserve and violate the secrets of my client. Sobrang daming technical twist dito. Actually, okay naman yung movie na to. Yun nga lang, medyo mabagay yung pacing tsaka ang tagal niya. Tungkol saan to? Graduating with honors siya, tapos hindi pa siya gumagraduate, kinukuha na siya ng mga law firms. Eh, meron isang law firm na nagustuhan niya, ibibigay sa kanya lahat. Kasi grabe, bahay, kotse, tsaka yung pang-travel niya ng pampamilya. Lahat sagot ng firm. Pero yun nga, gaya ng The Devil's Advocate, may presyo yung ambition. At sa movie na to, may kita natin yung epekto ng ambition na yun. So, ang pinaka-moral lesson sa movie na to, may mga kapalit ang ambitions natin. Panoorin nyo, medyo nakakaungas. Nobody has ever left us. Nobody. O next, number seven, The Rainmaker. Are you a lawyer? Uh, just pass the bar. Well, you got a hell of a lot of nerve walking into my courtroom without a license. Now get the hell out of here, get no license, and then you come back. Ang gandang panoorin kasi nakaka-inspire. Ma-inspire kang mag-work hard, maging determined, 
and i-maintain yung self-belief mo against all odds. Story kasi to ng isang underdog na kakapasa lang. Tapos kalaban niya yung mga big law firms para makuha yung justice para sa client niya. Caveat nga lang, medyo mabagal yung pacing din ito. Pero pag nandun na yung pacing, okay na. Nakatuwa ng panoorin. May kita mo rin dito yung sworn duty mo as a lawyer para i-maintain yung honesty at yung fidelity mo sa clients mo. Kaya okay na movie. Very inspiring. Oh, number eight. Ito, The Paper Chase. The study of law is something new and unfamiliar to most of you, unlike any schooling you've ever been through before. We use the Socratic method here. I call on you, ask you a question, and you answer it. Why don't I just give you a lecture? Because through my questions, you learn to teach yourselves. Medyo law school heavy siya. Nakakatakot to kasi makaka-relate kayo. Maaalala niyo yung mga terror professors niyo. Story to ng isang freshman sa law school. Yun nga lang, distracted siya sa love life. Kaya nga alam ko maraming makaka-relate sa inyo. <laughs> Diba? Sige ah. Tapos may catch pa. Yung daughter ng terror professor niya, yun yung chinichicks ng bida. <laughs> Nakakatawa. Ngayon, bakit paper chase? Siguro kasi, the movie is about chasing grades, chasing diplomas, a piece of paper. O kaya sa case ng chicks ng bida, piece of paper saying na final na yung divorce nila. Pinapakita dito, yung epekto ng competition sa friendship at sa personal life. Sa totoo lang, ah, maganda talaga yung message ng movie. Very subtle pero relatable. Lahat tayo merong hinahabol na paper. Be it grades, diplomas, or etc. But at the end of the day, it's not about the paper. It's about the chase. Next, Legally Blonde. Pooh Bear. Yes. I think I we do. should break up. Isa na namang law student movie. Story to ng isang law student na pumasok sa law school for the wrong reasons. This is the type of girl that Warner wants to marry. This is what I need to become to be serious. A law student. Actually, yung movie na to, feel-good movie siya. Medyo exaggerated yung mga scenes. Wala ng element of surprise kasi medyo cliche ang dating niya. Ito pa yung okay dito. Iba yung prilo niya. Fashion merchandising. Hindi law school related, di ba? Kaya nga kakaiba. Oh, mga meng, baka may alam kayong kakaibang prilo course dyan. I-comment nyo naman down below para malaman natin. Ako kasi para sa hindi nakakaalam, nursing ang prilo ko. Pero sa kalagitnaan, medyo nakakainis na kasi nakakainis yung ugali ng bida. Hmm? Pero kasi, iba rin talaga nagagawa ng emotions. Kaya magandang panoorin nyo para malaman nyo kung bakit. Isa pang nagustuhan ko dito, nandito si Stifler's mom! Pero mga konting court scenes. Pero majority dito tungkol sa law school and love life. <laughs> Maganda rin yung graduation speech nung bida dito. Simple yet inspiring. Feel good movie. Number 10. To Kill a Mockingbird. Ito yung story ni Atticus Finch, isa sa mga legendary fictional characters sa legal field. In the book and in the movie, to kill a mockingbird means that it is a sin to kill someone's innocence or inner peace. Parang pagsira natin sa uniqueness and beauty ng bawat isa. Kasama na dito yung pagiging judgmental sa ibang tao. Sabi nga sa movie, you never really understand the person unless you consider his or her point of view. Kaya ako gusto to kasi maraming peppered words of wisdom all over the movie. Pati nga yung mga legal concepts, Sobrang simpleng inexplain ni Atticus Finch. Marami kayong may kita dito na trial technique. Yun nga lang, mapat na pa, mapat na pa, mapat na pa. Yun nga lang, wala masyadong maraming objections. Talagang may kita mo lang yung thought process ng pag-cross-examine dito. Kadiri nga lang yung piskal dito kasi sinusubo niya yung pencil parang lollipop. Dungyut! In the story of innocence destroyed by evil, the mockingbird comes to represent the idea of innocence. Thus, to kill a mockingbird is to destroy innocence. Tapos yung last line ni Atticus, Most people are nice when you finally see them for who they are. Basta, ang ganda ng movie na to, panoorin nyo. Yung nga lang, black and white, kung hindi nyo gusto yun, baka mabore kayo. And medyo lengthy ang movie. Pero all in all, okay na okay siya para sa akin. Number 11, Anatomy of a Murder. The defendant is in Detroit being examined by a psychiatrist, Your Honor. Shouldn't the court have been consulted? before the defendant was allowed to leave its jurisdiction? Ito yung most realistic and technically accurate legal drama. 
every question from the lawyers, every objection, every ruling by the judge, every admonishment from the judge, and the testimony of the witnesses. Every bit of it, lines that were accurately written with care and then flawlessly delivered. Sobrang legally accurate, pati yung defenses sa murder. Why wouldn't I be legally justified in killing the man who raped my wife? Time, Alma. Now, if you'd caught him in the act, the shooting might have been justified, but you didn't catch him in the act. Sa movie na to, mapapanood nyo rin yung mga unwritten legal strategies. Pati yung mga trial techniques, nandito rin, ang dami. Kahit nga yung arraignment dito, napaka-accurate. Pag walang plea, plea of not guilty. For the sake of the docket, can you give me a clue as to his plea? The defendant will waive reading of the information and stand mute. A plea of not guilty will be entered. Tapos, yung jury qualification, may kita nyo rin dito. Basta well-researched and well-written ang movie na to. Yun nga lang, kagaya ng isang movie, may mga lumulusot na objectionable questions. Was he pointing the gun at you? Medyo matagal yung pacing ng movie kasi yung first courtroom scene dito nag-start nung 58 minutes na nasa movie. So talaga magiging patient ka or skip mo na doon sa 58 minutes na yon. Basta kung gusto mo makapanood ng legally accurate na movie, panoorin mo to. Legally accurate na marami ka pang matututunan na trial technique. O next, 12 Angry Men. Kung kanina yung mga movies ay tungkol sa lawyers, Ngayon naman, tungkol sa jury. Sa US kasi ang nagde-decide ng mga cases doon, mga jury. Unlike dito sa Philippine jurisdiction, ang nagde-decide ng mga cases ay si judge. Ngayon, sa movie na to, magde-decide sila sa case na ang parusa ay death penalty. Sa US kasi, para makapag-reach sila ng isang decision, kailangan unanimous ang decision ng buong jury. E dito sa movie na to, 11 ang guilty at isa ang not guilty. Kaya medyo intense ang problema sa movie. Siyempre, ang hirap naman mag-decide ng death penalty kung hindi na pag-uusapan ng maayos. Sa movie na to, pinakita yung importance ng guilt beyond reasonable doubt. Pag may konting duda lang, pwede nang ma-acquit yung accused. Panoorin niyo yung movie na to para makita niyo yung reasoning ng bawat isang jury. Maganda yung ginawa nung nag-iisang yun kasi na-convince na lahat na baguhin yung desisyon nila. Panoorin niyo kung paano. Galing! Saka ang dami ring words of wisdom dito kaya marami ka rin matututunan. Wherever you run into it, prejudice always obscures the truth. We may be trying to let a guilty man go free, I don't know. Nobody really can. But we have a reasonable doubt, and that's something that's very valuable in our system. No jury can declare a man guilty unless it's sure. So mga meng, yan na yung recommended movies ko para sa aspiring lawyers and law students. Sana mapanood nyo lahat. Kung napanood nyo na iba dito, comment nyo below kung anong reaction nyo. Kung mayroon pa kayong masasuggest, comment nyo rin down below. I hope you found this helpful. Sana may napulot kayo kahit papano. O huwag kakalimutan mag-LSS ha. Like! Share and subscribe. Takit sa next video. Paalam!